uh, now let's go and see the different subsystems uh, of hyper GUI. Uh, every uh, hyper every hyper uh, subsystem consists of different implementation. Most of them use uh, VTX or VMX uh, features of the Intel processors, but uh, most of uh, they are completely designed separately and joined together uh, work together to make uh, er, make debugging possible so the, this is the general overview of the <coughs> hyper dvg subsystem uh, we have a debugging program which has uh, some of its parts in user mode and other parts are uh, are in the kernel mode uh, we divided everything into the uh, different extended page tables. I will explain it later. <coughs> and some of the parts are executed in VMX root mode while uh, there is a connection between the guest and the host. The host tries to debug uh, the guest and uh, this connection is a, is a serial interface or can be other interfaces. Uh, there's an interpreter in the guest and uh, there's a parser in the host of both. Uh, this uh, interface tries to connect the host to the guest so we can uh, send or messages so we can send or uh, debugging commands to the guest and, ex uh, and uh, after that the guest tries to execute uh, those commands so whenever the commands received by the guest that then we have different components to handle uh, those commands like we have mmio or pmio debugging interrupt monitoring and also other subsystems that uh, manage the hyper dvg's high level behavior uh there's also other parts in the guest uh, like uh, the, different uh, in HyperDVG we completely uh, separated the VMX root uh, memory from the user mode memory. It's like uh, something uh, complex in design, like you're not allowed to access uh, a user mode memory from the VMX root mode. And these are, these are the things that are handled through different subsystems uh, in the debugger but it's not something that is exported to the user it's like uh, whenever the user wants to read an address through the uh, script engine then it just sends a command and uh, the, the guest subsystem will handle it and will eventually use some of these concepts to bring a, uh, to make a good result and uh, make the adequate result and send it back to the host don't worry about it uh, these are we, we we are going to get familiar with these things later uh, and yeah i just uh, divided uh, the different subsystems uh, in high over high level overview of the debuggers and these are the subsystems that you see in hybrid which okay now let's go and see one of the important parts of this uh, session uh, and uh, this is uh, the operation mode different operation modes in hybrid image as you see in the earlier slides uh, operation modes uh, there are currently there are three operation modes in hyper dvg one of them is v, uh, vmi mode or virtual machine introspection mode uh it's exactly the same as local kernel debugging if you uh, previously have uh, an experience uh, of using the windy widgets it's uh, works somehow like uh, the local kernel debugging in this debugger we also have debugger mode if uh, i will explain them later but for now if we want to debug a vm machine or a physical machine we use the debugger mode and a uh, hyper dvg in the transparent mode uh, the third uh, mode which is transparent mode hyper dvg just tries to bypass anti-debug or anti-hypervisor mode okay vmi mode uh, uh, it's like uh, local debugging in both and it works in both kernel mode and user mode uh, whenever you use it uh, it 
that uh, you don't need uh, to have uh, a separate machine uh, like you can uh, execute everything in your current system and everything is fine uh, you can also uh, connect uh, a remote machine by using uh, TCP, co uh, TCP connection and uh, uh, make it local debugging of that target machine uh, generally in this mode of uh, operation you can do everything except halting the kernel mode itself it's like uh, it's, it's exactly the same for windvg uh, in local debugging of windvg you can't uh, break or you can't halt the entire system because it just breaks everything you cannot control your system uh, the system that, that are running the debugger but uh, and also it's it's pretty okay we can uh, have as many as custom codes that we want or we can we're gonna have uh, er, er, as many uh, scripts that uh, we want and uh, we can also inspect both kernel mode functions and user mode functions so it's like uh, vmi mode uh, supports two actions the actions that we previously seen in the previous uh, slide it supports a script and custom code but it won't support break this mode of operation can also be used uh, to uh, create uh, different logs uh, from uh, the functions uh, from both kernel mode and user mode functions so it's it, it, uh, aligned with uh, the script engine it gives you a, a great ability and powerful ability to monitor the uh, system behavior the caveat uh, for this VMI mode is that if you corrupt uh, an OS structure or anything that you are not supposed to access in the operating system or any modifications are wrong, then you definitely see a blue screen of death or a BOS, BSOD because the, the, you're uh, modifying your current machine uh, if it fails then you will uh, lose the, that uh, debugging session and you have to restart your computer again uh, <laughs> the debugger mode is the most powerful and the full feature mode of the hyper dbg uh, currently at the time that i'm recording these uh, slides uh, hyper dbg only step, uh, supports physical machines and supports vmware workstations nested uh, virtualization it also supports different uh, vmware products uh, too but uh, not not it's not only limited to the vmware workstation but in the future uh, this will support hyper v and hyper uh, hyper uh, and uh, virtual box uh, nested uh, virtualization the thing about hyper v is it's really hard to support it has a lot of things that should be implemented and should be considered by the vmm or by the hyper dvg so uh, the reason why in the initial version we only support VMware is because it's easier and uh, we we spend a lot of time on Hyper-V but still it's the challenging part of supporting Hyper-V and we are not fully supporting Hyper-V yet uh, but I think it's fine uh, if you use a one core uh, a one core machine in Hyper-V but it's not generally recommended to use Hyper-V yet also if you have a, a serial uh, cable uh, device or a virtual machine you can use it you can also use the name pipe uh, to work with this debugger mode in the future versions we will also support network connections but for now it's only limited to using serial devices uh, i also uh, told you about the tcp connections whenever you connect over a tcp uh, in the current version of the hyper you can uh, you can only uh, debug the target machine in, a, in in the vmi mode it's like the target machine is in uh, is running in vmi mode but uh, we're gonna support uh, in the future versions will support the debugging over the network connections it's exactly like what windvg are currently using and we can also have a debugger mode in uh, the by using a network connection but for now it's only possible through the serial devices 
the caveat and of course the caveat for this method is that it needs the separate virtual uh, or physical machine the transparent mode is completely different from uh, the previous mode uh, hyper dvg in this mode tries to hide itself from the anti-debugging anti-debugging and anti-hypervisor methods uh, you can uh, start transparent mode in both vmi mode and debugger mode there's no limitation for it and it won't reveal the presence of a hypervisor on uh, classic delta timing methods or classic side channels for the cpu id or possible possibly other instructions uh, of course it won't guarantee 100 uh, percent of transparency but it makes uh, it uh, substantially harder for uh, the anti debugging or anti anti hypervisor methods to find this debugger. And it's also an under the uh, under active development uh, module like HyperDBG uh, just improves every time, uh, every time that you can we find a um, new technique that detects HyperDBG. Uh, we will try to bypass them, but for now, uh, it's uh, under active development.